Hello, my name is Stretz, and today uh, I thought I'd do a little experiment to see at what frame rate do you jump or strafe the furthest on PC on uh, Black Ops 1. So I've tested different frame rates to match uh, the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 and then also different frame rates for PC as well. So I've heard from different people uh, saying that you jump furthest with 125 FPS. I've also heard that you jump furthest with 91 FPS, and I've also heard that you jump furthest with a higher frame rate. So I've heard different accounts of um, different answers to that question. So I wanted to test it myself and actually get an, a definitive answer for that. So I've tried to do it as scientifically as I can, and I'll explain what I've done. Uh, right, so I used my Logitech uh, mouse to write a little macro, and then what the macro does is it um, runs forwards, uh, and then it, it jumps basically, but it does it exactly the same each time, so it runs forward uh, forwards for like 300 milliseconds or something. I don't actually know what the number is, but it doesn't really matter. The point is, um, using the macro, it does the same jump exactly the same each time. So what I did was I went on to Doris, I sat in this corner and then I would uh, press the mac macro button, it would jump forwards and then um, I would change the FPS and then I, I would repeat the same jump again. So from my findings, um, the overall winner was 125 FPS. Um, that was consistently better than all of the other frame rates. Um, it's a bit weird though because there doesn't seem to be a direct correlation. It doesn't seem like the higher the FPS, the the further you jump. Um, it peaks at 125, but then if you go beyond 125 FPS, then your strafes go a lot shorter. But at the lower frame rates, like 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, or 90, it's kind of like a zigzag pattern which is really odd generally it goes up the higher the frame rate the further you jump however there's a kind of a zig zigzag pattern as I said um, so at 50 FPS you jump a certain distance but then at 60 FPS you don't jump as far as 50 but then at 70 you jump further than both of those so it's, it's a weird pattern that it goes up and down and up and down now PS3 generally sits between 40 and 60 FPS so when you do something demanding on the PlayStation like killing the horde or jumping through a trap um, something that is going to drop the frame rate um, when you go down to like 40 or 50 FPS then weirdly you can jump further than if you're at 60 FPS now on the Xbox 360 that tends to sit at a steady 60 FPS or um, just drops to about 50 so I I think you can probably jump further on PlayStation than, in, than you can on Xbox but then that depends on what you're actually doing uh, it's where the zombies are and what map you're on and what you're actually doing in the map but generally speaking I think the PlayStation would jump further than Xbox 360 and then again generally speaking on PC you can jump further than either console uh, but so long as you have about 125 FPS. So one more thing I tested was I um, stood on the stairs by the bridge strafe and then I uh, jumped in this direction and then I would either hit my head on the roof or I wouldn't hit my head on the roof. So this I was testing the actual jump height and I found that 71 FPS, 125 and then 200 above 220 FPS you would jump the highest so all of those frame rates I would hit my head on the roof but then any of the others uh, I wouldn't so yeah it's a weird pattern but overall the conclusion is 125 FPS you jump the furthest and then PS3 you probably jump further than Xbox um, yeah so thanks for watching see ya